So base emitter, we get a red. So this is a good transistor. Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to test all types of transistors, including SMD transistors and THT transistors or true hole technology transistors. But first, let's see the definition. A transistor is a semiconductor component that is used to amplify or switch electrical signals. It is composed of three terminals, base, collector, and emitter. A voltage or a current applied to the base B of the transistor controls the current between collector C and emitter E. In simple words, it regulates the flow of current between collector and emitter. So as you can see basically here we have many transistors. Those transistors are ESMD transistors and those are THT technology transistors. As you can see here, SMD transistors and THT transistors. So basically the transistor contains three terminals, base, collector and emitter. So to test it you should put the multimeter to the buzzer option or to the diode option and then put one probe of the multimeter in the collector and the other in the emitter. You should not get any continuity or any low resistance. If you get a continuity or a buzzer means the transistor is bad, of course you should not touch the base with the red probe of the multimeter. Because if you touch the base with the red probe, you will charge the transistor and then you will get a continuity between collector and emitter. In this case, it's normal. So right now, let's test some transistors. NPN transistors and PNP transistors. So as you can see here in this motherboard, we have many transistors. Basically, the reference of transistor is Q. So here we have the base, emitter, and collector. Okay. So base, emitter, collector. Okay. So basically here for NPN transistor you will get a reading when you place the red probe of the multimeter in the base and the black probe once in the collector and once in emitter. And for PNP transistor you will get a reading when you place the black probe of the multimeter in the base and the red probe once in collector and once in emitter. So let's Select the buzzer option or the diode option in the multimeter and let's get started. So let's check this transistor. So we're gonna put the black probe in the base and the red probe in the emitter. We get a reading. So base collector, we get a reading. Means this is a good transistor. Okay, we get a reading between base collector and base emitter. So this is basically a PMP transistor. Okay. B amp transistor, okay, because we move the positive terminal. So here we have a reading, and here also we have a reading, okay. So if we switch the probes, we should not get any reading because this is a P amp transistor. So let's see here between base emitter, we have nothing base collector we have nothing in the multimeter means this is a good transistor and of course this is a p amp transistor so let's say right now the second transistor basically this transistor is amp in transistor so let's put the red probe in the base and the black probe once in the collector and once in the emitter we have a reading here between base emitter and here we have a reading between base collector, means this is a good transistor. And of course, this is NPN transistor, as you can see. We have negative, positive here in the base, and negative, okay? So this is NPN transistor, because we get reading when we move the, the black probe of the multimeter, okay? So if we switch the probes, we should not get any reading. So let's check. 
here between base emitter, we have nothing in the multimeter, base collector, nothing in the multimeter. Okay, so this is basically a good transistor. So let's check other types of transistor here. Basically, this is a transistor with four terminals. Okay, but the two terminals in the middle are connected together. Okay, here we have base, as you can see, collector. This also is connected. These two pins are connected together and emitter. Okay, so base, collector, and emitter. So let's check first these two terminals. So we get in the multimeter a low resistance, about zero ohm, means these two terminals are connected together. Let's check this also. We have a low resistance in the multimeter. So these two terminals are connected together. So right now we gotta check these two transistors. So let's put here between base collector, we get a reading. So base emitter, we get a reading. So this is a good transistor. If you get any buzzer or a low resistance in the multimeter, means the transistor is bad. So if we switch the probes, nothing in the multimeter. Okay? So this is a good transistor. So let's check the second one. So here we have base, as you can see, collector and emitter. So let's put the black probe in the base and the red probe once in emitter and once in collector. So we get a reading here and also base emitter we get a reading means basically this is a good transistor. Okay, so let's check this kind of transistor also. Basically this is SMD transistor or surface mount technology device transistors. We find this kind of transistor in computer motherboards. So basically here we have four terminals. The two terminals in the middle are the collector. Okay, the reference for the transistor is Q. So here we have base, as you can see, collector. Here also we have collector, okay, because connected together and here we have emitter. So let's check using the same working principle. First, let's check these two terminals. Here we have a low resistance in the multimeter, means the two terminals are connected together. So right now we gotta check this transistor using the same working principle here we have a reading between the base and collector and between base and emitter we have a reading means this is a pnp transistor because we move the read probe of the multimeter when you move the read probe of the multimeter means you have a pnp transistor and when you move the black probe of the multimeter means you have an npn transistor